Researchers in Britain have found that psychedelic drugs can create a higher level of consciousness. Brain scans reveal that healthy volunteers who took LSD, ketamine, or the active ingredient in magic mushrooms had more random brain activity while under the influence. Participants said they felt a number of sensations, including floating and finding inner peace. For more on what all of this means, I want to bring in Anel Seth. He is a professor of neuroscience at the University of Sussex, and he joins me this morning from Brighton, England. Good morning. Welcome to our program. Good morning. So how does LSD change brain activity? Well, people have known for a very long time how it changes your experience. So people have often talked about you know, having a higher state or a higher level of consciousness. But it's often talked about in quite a mystical or spiritual sense. And we've been interested in looking at what happens in the brain during this state. Uh, and what we did was we, we used a measure, it's a specific mathematical measure of brain activity that basically measures how unpredictable, how diverse your brain activity is. And previous studies by our group and others have shown that you can use this measure to track what happens in the brain when people lose consciousness, when it fades away in sleep or, or under anesthesia. This measure goes down. Uh, what we found, and this was a collaboration with, with colleagues at Imperial College in London, um, was that this measure actually goes up from your normal waking state. So when people are under um, the influence of these psychedelic drugs, their, their brains or the activity in their brain seems to be more diverse, a bit more random, a bit less uh, predictable than normal. And this gives us, begins to give us a handle on what's happening in the brain that underlies the, the really unusual experiences that people report when they're taking these kinds of drugs. And did the volunteers say that this was a pleasant feeling or was it an unpleasant feeling? We collected a, a number of reports uh, while people were taking these compounds. And, and bear in mind that we only, uh, for ethical reasons, these were people who were already sort of experienced with these, with these drugs. And um, we, they reported a number of sensations of sort of floating, of, of the, sometimes the dissolution of the boundary between self and other. Uh, for most people, it is a very pleasant experience. Of course, for some people, it can, can be unpleasant, so one has to be very careful. So could the same feeling be achieved without using LSD? That's an extremely interesting question, actually. And, and some research in our lab, uh, are try we're trying to see whether we can use innovative virtual reality methods to simulate the kinds of hallucinogenic experiences that people report when they take these drugs. I don't know if we'll match it completely, but we'd like to try to separate uh, the specific effects on how people experience the world and the self from the very general effects that taking these drugs uh, have on the brain and on the body. Fascinating stuff. Anil Seth, Professor of Neuroscience at the University of Sussex, thanks for your time. Thank you very much.